the next thing you want to do after you calibrate uh, with the Echelon 2 console is do a power validation. They have a power validation chart, but the easiest way to do this is to start riding your bike. I'll turn on the light so you can see these. Notice the gear is at zero. You want to rotate your knob, your resistance knob, until it gives you just go slow until it says two. There, it just showed two, okay? Now what you want to do is ride your bike at an RPM of 60. There's a whole chart you can do this at various different RPMs and it matches, but the easiest way is gear of two, get your RPM up to 60 and try to maintain it. And at a gear of two, an RPM of 60, your power should be between 24 and 30. So sitting at, try to slow it down a little bit, sitting at 60 RPMs, we're at 28, 27. This bike is validated with an RPM of 60, gear of two, and a power of 26. So it is working as designed. You do this following a calibration.